Hi everyone, today I'm going to make sukiyaki. Sukiyaki is a very popular Japanese dish, so I think you all know what that is. It's beef and vegetables simmered in a huge pot. And I know that I'm going to receive the same questions from many people whether you can skip sake or whether you can use pork or chicken instead of beef. So to answer those questions, yes you can, but it's better in the way I make. So I hope you find all the ingredients and I hope you can try it out. Here are the meats and the vegetables I'm going to use. Drain and cut yaki tofu into bite-sized pieces. Chikuabu is chikua-shaped dumplings. Cut it diagonally. Musubi shirataki is bundles of translucent cognac noodles. Drain the water and boil for 2 to 3 minutes to remove the dirt. Then drain well. Remove the stems and decorative cut the shiitake mushrooms. Of course, you can eat the stems. Now slice long green onions diagonally. This is shungiku, I hope you can find it. Separate the leaves and the stalks. Then cut the stalks diagonally. You can add carrot slices if you have. Melt the beef fat in a pot. Cook few slices of long green onion, shiitake scraps, and shungik stalks. Then add the beef on top of the vegetables. Now you need wadista which is sukiyaki seasonings. Sprinkle a bit of sake and sugar from the seasonings. Then cover and steam until half cooked. Remove the beef and set aside. Add kombu broth or you can add water. Add the rest of the sake and sugar. Add mirin and soy sauce. Mix well and bring to a boil. And now add the vegetables. Then cover and cook the vegetables. Then put back the beef. Cover and simmer until done. And now it's done! If you like, you can dip into the fresh beaten eggs. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. On the next day, if you have the leftover broth, you can bring to a boil.
and then add some beaten eggs and steam. Then serve on top of the rice. And now it's done! Itadakimasu! Mmm! Oh, good!